The long-term effects of exercise refer to what happens to our bodies when we exercise regularly. For example, if you were to undertake a six-week training program, then your body will change in a number of ways by the time the six weeks is up. These changes are known as the long-term effects of exercise. Let's imagine a rugby player has spent six weeks weight training in the gym. There will be a number of long-term effects on their musculoskeletal system. Muscular hypertrophy will have occurred. This is when muscles increase in size and strength. The rugby player will also experience an increase in bone density. Weight-bearing activities result in this effect. For example, performing squats will result in increased bone density in the legs, which links closely to the strength of your bones. Ligaments and tendons will also become stronger throughout the six weeks. Ligaments join bones to bones and tendons join muscles to bones. Strengthening these tissues will result in fewer injuries. Finally, the rugby player will become more resistant to fatigue. This is due to an increase in muscular endurance and will mean that the player can work for longer during a match without becoming tired. Following a training program, a performer will also experience some long-term effects of exercise on their cardiorespiratory system. Let's imagine a netball player who spends six weeks of pre-season improving her aerobic fitness through running and cycling. Following the six weeks, the netball player will have a decreased resting heart rate. This is because at rest, the heart requires less beats per minute to deliver the same amount of oxygen to the muscles. The player will also find that they experience a faster recovery rate back to resting heart rate. This shows a more efficient cardiovascular system and means the netball player will recover quickly at the end of each quarter during a match. Cardiac hypertrophy will also occur as a result of training. This means that the heart has increased in strength and size. The heart is a muscle, so the more it works during exercise, the bigger it will become. Because the heart is bigger, it can pump out more blood. Stroke volume is the amount of blood pumped out of the heart per beat. As a result of the training program, resting stroke volume will have increased. This means that at rest, more blood is being pumped out of the heart each beat. This is also why resting heart rate will now be lower. Cardiac output is the amount of blood pumped out of the heart each minute, and this is equal to stroke volume times heart rate. A long-term effect of exercise on the cardiovascular system is increased maximum cardiac output. This means that when exercising at full capacity, the heart can now supply the working muscles with more oxygen per minute. In terms of the respiratory system, the netballer will now have a stronger diaphragm and intercostal muscles. This means that more air will be forced into the lungs and therefore more oxygen is available. There will also be an increase in the number of alveoli as well as an increase in the number of capillaries surrounding the alveoli. This is known as increased capillarization. These changes mean that the oxygen entering the lungs will diffuse into the bloodstream at a faster rate. Finally, lung capacity will also increase. This means that the lungs are capable of receiving more air. Therefore, during exercise, more oxygen can be supplied to the muscles. As we have found, there are a large number of long-term effects of exercise on our bodies. Take some time to ensure that you understand each of these effects and that you can explain why they result in greater fitness.